Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is JP. This is Wander to Get Lost and we are going to be doing an RV upgrade today. Did you know that if you have a Ford motorhome built on a Ford chassis that the Ford factory actually detunes your engine and that that could lead to issues with shifting when they're driving uphill or downhill and a host of other issues, especially affecting miles per gallons. I didn't know this till I did some research and there is a way to fix it. Stay tuned and we'll do it together. What's going on everyone? My name is JP. This is my wife Jordana and our kids Aurelia and Odin. Back on our sixth wedding anniversary, we decided we wanted to buy an RV and see the country. Fast forward to March of 2021, we sold our house, ditched all our stuff and hit the road for what we hope will be a journey filled with a lifetime of memories. We hope you will join us on this journey as we wander to get lost. You might have seen our previous video where I did an upgrade here on the cold air intake on our uh, 2008 Winnebago Sightseer. It's built on a 2007 F53 chassis. We added the Banks um, Power Ram cold air intake filter and um, system. So along with that on their website, I was doing some research and they sell a, um, it's a, engine tuner and so i decided to get that it's an ultra power uh, performance products it's made for this one is specifically for the ford v10 so when you go on their website you um you will go to products and then um you will select engine tuner and then you will put in your vehicle select all that um you know and then it'll take you to the programmer that's right for your uh, motorhome. The other thing you have to do before you actually check out is you have to actually type in your VIN number because they verify your VIN number against what you input as your vehicle and then they also use the VIN number to actually tune to put in the correct engine tuner onto this device so that way you get the right one for the engine that's in your Ford. Um, so yeah so you can see uh, it comes with a sticker my name, order number, the strategy, I guess, which is the tune program, 07F53, and then my VIN number. So yeah, so I know that this one is programmed exactly for me. Uh, let's open this box up. So the other thing that's really cool is that after you tune the engine, you can actually leave this on the dash and it will give you real time feedback on what's happening with your engine. And this is the whole pamphlet. So we're not gonna go over that right now. Here's the instructions that we're going to need when we hook everything up. Here's the actually tuning device. So we're going to take that off. So yeah, so it actually has uh, tabs here. I guess there's a mounting arm. I guess we can figure out a place to mount this somewhere. So we'll do that. Uh, this box. Ah. Cables. All right. All right. So here's your OBD2 port cable. So we're going to need this. This is going to plug into the computer of the motorhome right here. And this will plug into, I guess, the back of this guy. Yep. So it looks like an HDMI port. got that and then there's another cable so this it's a USB connection so I guess this is if you want to connect you can connect this to your computer it does say you can um, download updates and then the other thing that I read on the bank's website is that uh, if you record data while you're driving for a while you can shoot um, your data information two banks and they will adjust the tune so i thought that was really cool as well uh the reason why i decided to get this engine tuner is while we were driving recently we were going up very hilly section especially in georgia with a lot of hills and even parts of south carolina going uphill <laughs> um i was noticing some lag in the shifting especially we're towing our jeep and then coming downhill 
Uh, we were getting um, episodes of where the engine would rev really high and spike because it wasn't uh, downshifting properly. Um, so we were having issues with that and I was always having to play with the um, shift column, uh, take the RV out of tow mode, uh, downshift, get it out of that. And I think it was causing some real bad issues. So I figured this might be the way to help. And um, there is possibly some gain in miles per gallon. I'm going to get this plugged in to my OBD2 port. Uh, I will try and show you where it is on our column. It's pretty hard to get to. It's underneath the dash. I'm not going to remove anything. I do have a Bluetooth OBD2 connector on it right now that I use to scan the engine sometimes. Uh, so let me see if I can get the camera under there and kind of show you. All right. I'm going to get you the best angle possible. Here, right here is the, the port. So I'm going to pull off my Bluetooth one. All right, so that's out. Per the instructions, we're going to plug the new connector in. So this is the problem, try and find it again. All right, I think, I think we got it. All right, so here now the uh, computer screen just booted on. So we're going to follow the directions. Make sure we do this correct. All right, so after we plug it in, wait till the screen boots up to the main menu. So we're gonna look for program vehicle will be the default selection and use the center button to select this. Yeah, what I do? Yeah, I waited too long. All right, program vehicle, street use notice. It's not legal in California. So we're not in California, we're good. You will be now, uh, so we're going to hit continue, make sure that's good. Turn key on. Do not start the engine. So. Continue processing data. This may take some time. All right, so it's popped up now. Engine tune preloaded is the 6.8 liter Super Duty. And then it's got also available custom tunes ultra power. So the next screen is, let's see, scroll down to custom tunes and highlight ultra power, push the center button. So that's what we're gonna do. Processing data. Program vehicle, custom tune, ultra power, options none. We're gonna hit continue. The next screen confirm, that's what we want. Turn key off. Turn the vehicle's ignition key to the on position. Do not start the engine. All right, so now it's saving the stock data. So it says in the directions that this whole process can take up to five minutes. So yeah, we might be here for a few minutes. But the last part of the instructions just said is when it's loading is done, just follow the prompts on the screen. It's different to each vehicle. Um, and then once that's done, you're good. And then you just unplug this device. So I will probably unplug it after we're done with this install and I'm gonna look for a mount because I probably want to put this somewhere because I actually want to keep track of our engine and everything all right almost done Hundred percent. All 
All right, so this might be the, oh, there we go. ECU downloading the tune, cool. All right, so now this is now the new custom tune for our engine. All right, we're almost done, so. percent so it's clearing the DTC processing data turn the key off turn the vehicles ignition key to the on position and hold do not start the engine Back to a processing screen again. Download complete. Tune has been programmed successfully to vehicle. Turn the key off. All right, I'm then gonna hit done and we are done. So here's the main menu. This is gauges and data log, vehicle functions, vehicle info. Let's see what happens. You gotta turn the key on. So, exit, device info, device settings. So, let's see what happens. All right, so this is gauges and data log. So you can see Ford gas 07 in prior years. And 08 and newer, so you can, they have a whole list here. So we're obviously the Ford Gas 07 and prior. Select. And we're going to continue processing data, so let's see what pops up. It's giving me battery voltage, which is actually pretty low. 10.31 is really cool. Coolant temp. We can select the gauge layout. Oh, there's a whole bunch of layouts. Let's see what that one is. Battery, coolant temp, desired idle RPM, fuel pump, duty cycle. So you can get a whole bunch of different readouts. All right. All right, you can stop the data log and then you're back to the beginning. Uh, vehicle info screen. So this is stuff that I'm gonna play around with and learn and then uh, probably make a different video. Yeah, there's the VIN, all that stuff. All right. So that's basically all there is to putting in, installing the engine tune, custom engine tune for our Ford uh, F53 chassis Winnebago motorhome. Uh, super simple on the website. Uh, it was $506 for the custom tune and the actual device itself. So you do get this device that'll give you a whole bunch of engine readouts and all kinds of different diagnostic codes and everything. So. Uh, I think it's well worth the price and if it gains us a few miles per gallon um, that'll be awesome so I'm not gonna drive it yet I'll give so I'll do another video on the feedback and when we start heading south I'm gonna track our miles per gallon while towing with the Jeep and then I'll do an overview probably when we get down to Georgia that should be about um, I guess it'll be around 800 miles of driving on it I'll give some feedback on how I feel it's been shifting and how it's uh, the engines responding so I'll do a uh, complete review video on how I feel everything's been working and I'll do that to include kind of you know we have the new Ram air intake 
So if that is helping along with the engine tune and hopefully I will be getting maybe one or maybe two extra miles per gallon. So that'll be really awesome. All right, so I will link to Banks Power website where I got this tune and the cold rare intake. You can visit their website. Uh, unfortunately not sponsored, don't have a discount code. I just think it's a really cool, awesome product and I'm just trying to make our RV run a lot better and be a little bit more efficient just because we are a 2007 chassis, 2008 motorhome. All right, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you've done a similar upgrade to your RV and how you've been liking it. Uh, thank you to all our new subscribers. Thank you to all our loyal subscribers. It's great to have you here. Don't forget, if you leave a comment on this video, you'll be entered in to win one of our t-shirts for free. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video.